Well, hello, it's the first Wednesday in April, and it's time to announce our spiritual practice for the month. Our staff got together. We did some reflecting on what should we do? We, we didn't have a plan for this month. What would be our spiritual practice? And after a couple of meetings, went home and, and paused and did some prayer in between, did some reflecting, we came back and tossed around lots of ideas and settled on the idea of reflection. That's how it came to be. What do you mean by reflection? Well, we're all like survivors of a natural disaster or a shipwreck. And we have the same questions. We've survived pandemic. And we ask ourselves, why have we been spared? Other people have lost so much. And so we're wondering what's going to be different now in our world? What will be different forever and actually should be? How is God being made known to us? This is an incredible period of time that we don't want to let skip on by. So here's three things about reflection, our practice of the month. One, we pause to reflect for clarity. When are we at our best? How is our faith stronger than we thought? How is our faith hungrier than we thought? This kind of work that our whole congregation will be doing will inspire confidence in our future. It'll foster creativity because whatever the next thing is for our congregation, it'll come out of this positive core of reflecting on how has God been present to us during the pandemic. See, we'll be attending to our future. We're looking for what wants to be released and also we're looking for what is yearning to emerge. So, number one, we're seeking clarity together, because all of our voices matter. Number two, reflection is a shift from striving to pausing or presencing. The urge is to create a more certain future, and oftentimes we do that by going back to what we knew, or, leap, or going back to what we knew, and that's not a good option in this time. Pausing, it seems so unproductive, but I remember a prayer service on a Advent Wednesday a few years ago where we just spent five minutes in silence. We sat together, we paused, we reflected on who should we pray for tonight. It seemed like nothing was happening during those five minutes. At the end of the prayer service, we lit candles for the people that we had prayed for, and you saw what seem like unproductivity, I just made that word up, there were 65 candles burning that came out of that lack of productivity. So reflection is yielding and being led. And what are we led to? That's the third piece today. We're led to act, to actions. Like I said, this pandemic time and, and re-engaging church, we're not going to jump into some unknown future. That wouldn't be wise. And we're not going to return to a comfortable past and pretend like pandemic never happened. That wouldn't be what God wants. The reflection, taking what we've learned, pausing, feeling where God is leading, it's more like building a bridge while we walk on it. That's why we're reflecting right now, the spiritual practice of reflection. And we will ask you for your stories and your insights as we practice this as a congregation this month. I'm Mike, Pastor Mike, a servant with you. We'll talk soon.